Hey everyone, this is Pastor Bell. I'm here at Chase Graves Gym where I am a member and have been for a few months now. And I noticed that when I got back from Christmas break and we started the new year off again on our regular class schedule, that there were a lot more people here at the gym and our classes were a lot more full than they normally are. Because of course it's that time of year when people are making New Year's resolutions. Uh, when they are wanting to be healthier, to be fitter, to be thinner, whatever the case may be. Not just at this gym, but at gyms across Texas and across the country. People are, are making that commitment to go back to the gym and, and do better this year. It is a time of year when people are making all sorts of resolutions uh, to improve themselves in some way. Whether it's wanting to be healthier or eat better or read more or spend more time with the kids. Some people are trying to give up bad habits like smoking or drinking too much or watching too much TV. Whatever the case may is, people are making resolutions uh, for 2020 and for this next year. And I know that 90% of resolutions fail within the first month. At least that's what a lot of studies show. And I'm not going to argue with those numbers. But what I want to say is it's, there's something important about taking some time to be intentional and thoughtful about how we spend our very limited time and energy and, and money and resources. And there is something good about sitting down at the beginning of the year and saying, how do I want to live in 2020? How do I want to live my life over these next 12 months? And so in that light, we're doing a series called Resolutions for a Jesus Follower here at St. John. We already started. If you missed the first one, you can catch it on our Facebook page or our YouTube feed or, or uh, on our app, on your phone. But there are practices that we want to share with you. There are ways that you can grow in your faith life and grow in your spirituality as well. And this isn't gonna be prescriptive. This isn't gonna be a step-by-step -step process. You need to do these five things or else. But it's simply taking that opportunity to be thoughtful, to be intentional about how we wanna spend the next year of our spiritual life as followers of Jesus Christ. And so I invite you to come to our sermons. If you can't make it in person, catch them when we post them online. And take some time to sit down with yourself and say, how do I want to grow in my faith? How do I want to grow spiritually in 2020? What kind of resolutions do you want to make in your life? Because it's important to grow physically. It's important to take good care of our bodies, to eat well. It's important to grow intellectually, to continue to learn, to uh, use our curiosity and look at the world around us. It's important to grow in our relationships that we have with family and friends and, and coworkers and, and people that we spend time with. And it's also important to grow in our spirituality and our faith life. So I hope you join us for this series. There'll be a guest preacher during it. There'll be some great topics that will be covered. And you can join us each and every week, Saturday at 6 o'clock, Sunday at 8 and 1030. You are welcome here at St. John Lutheran Church. Have a good week and God bless. Bye now.